Uh, Launching. Okay. Engage. Number two. What do our statuses look like? I still need a minute. Number two. Who does number two work for? You tell him, buddy. Glad someone else gets that buddy. Yeah, I, I, it's Austin Powers. Yeah, we, we got it. Austin Powers. Ziggy doesn't want to stoop to our level. Which, I mean, fair. Yeah, that's reasonable. I mean, is he is a very low bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I tell too many high-end jokes, you guys will think I'm somebody else. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. October 8th, session 15. God damn it. NPC allies handled your fucking piracy so it doesn't come into my systems. Oh, uh, did I write down the names of your alternate team guys somewhere? I remember them mostly. I'm pretty sure Izzy wrote them down somewhere. I can give them to you if you want them. It's posting to me real quick, just so I for sure have the names right. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Note to self, if I ever run a game again, be more organized. <laughs> you see, I see every time I run a game, and then inevitably I don't. Hmm. You could legitimately just ask me for a copy of my notes. They're pretty accurate. Yes. And you will mostly know. objective and mostly objective unless I'm saying my character did something. You will note, Izzy, that that is in fact what I tend to do in this circumstance. Yes, I know, but you're not the DM right now. Oh, so I gotta make a quick change. There we go. Also, in case you forgot about it, they're called the Squadron. They're led by the new hero in the area, Judge Thunder. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I was trying to remember. Did I get their name right? I didn't get their name right. Yeah. This is the shining example of the future and the ticker tape red. Check out the new tween heartthrobs, 2020's Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. was a thing. Those are, those are statements, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Ziggy. Mm-hmm. We're good at making friends, thanks to Geist. Aren't we just? Mm-hmm. As soon as they show up, we're going to be like, hey, aren't you those new tween heartthrobs? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Oh, it's me that's not ready. Yeah, yeah. Give me a minute. I've, I've almost got it. <laughs> also, hey, Nick, I need a question for you. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Where are you sending me this question? Hey. B, next question. B? The answer is E, all of the above. Or C. I can't use all of them. Why can't you use all of them? Well, I, okay. have, to pick one. I have to pick one. Wait, you only... Is the, I think A and B, depending on which, uh, the thing that you said you wanted to do. Fair enough. Like Okay. Yeah, de definitely A and B in that case, with those. Gotcha. 
Uh, is that all the things I need to run this session? Maybe. Probably. Sure, why not? I'll wing it. Fuck it, doing it live. We got a framework. It's all good. Glance Damn, behind. Are we recording? We are recording. The curtain. There's nothing there. It's magic. Is it all right. So we left off last session with um, you guys. Uh, uh, blah, 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 I'm brain farting. Being um, told that the world's about to end. Yep, you guys are being told the world's about to end by Nana. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, that is where we left off. And you guys are like on a mountain somewhere, right? Yep, yeah, we're on a mountain. I built us a place to sit and talk. Yep. You just teleported to a mountain, right? I assume somewhere. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I was trying to remember why you're on a mountain, and I'm like, Nick's around. Okay. <laughs> that is how that go. Yeah. He's like the piccolo to the, our party. Special beam cannon. Special. He beam. always knows where there's a random wasteland with lots of mountains that can be destroyed. Nick, it's a special. Hey, beam. this is a nice mountain. Nick, I will give you a hero point if you use the special beam cannon. <laughs> I will totally use the special beam cannon. I just have to figure out how to justify. It doesn't actually have to look like that. So I'm trying to figure out how to justify that with my powers. I mean, of course, does that make it go, Han? I mean, it, it 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 absolutely has to look like that. That's what makes it the special beam cannon. Okay, how do I justify that? I'm thinking about this now. By the way, I'm definitely not going to say the actual name of it. <laughs> Fuck that! You have to say the actual name of it. I, the, I the, look, look, Team Four Zero Piccolo can't say it, so I'm not gonna. He eventually said it like once. Is it? A th is it? Is it? Uh, NG. What? What? That's not. The, that's not the name of the gun. No. Right. No. What? No. It's like it's like Kahata Paka Paka Paka. Yeah, that. Oh, I thought you started calling it the nail gun. No, that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's a different exactly. move entirely. A joke where he failed. No. 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 There it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, fun. All right. Uh, back to this. So yeah. Um. So Nana is kind of recovering, but she looks grimmer than you've seen her, and she's like, "Well, I don't envy you, kids, but uh, I think the fate of the world might be on your shoulders now, literally." That's just great. No pressure. None at all. Oh, oh god, I, did I copy over my complications? So did she just say the world's going to end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Unless we unless we find Paradigm. Ah, yes. Okay, she did say that. Good. I wanted to make sure. Yeah. George's guess is, like, can you... Do you have any information you can give us about how it's going to end? She shakes her head. It's not the way that works, kid. I saw the future. I was there for a second. Everything was burnt. The skies were on fire. The earth was cracked. People were dying. And I saw the heavens splitting open. There's no other way to say it. And only Paradigm was there holding it together. Any idea how to find Paradigm? Mm, that's the million dollar question, isn't it, girl? And we already know where she is, isn't she? Don't we? No, you don't. I, I believe we answer was people thought she was in space. All oh, right. I wish I could tell you the answer to that one, but I don't know it. Paradigm disappeared years ago. There aren't many who know where she is anymore, if any. There's got to oh, be yeah. some kind of off-the-book satellite at least sending a signal out trying to find her. Some Pretty records. Sure. Well, you know who would own that satellite, don't you? Well, there's a couple people that could, could own satellites like that. Our that... wonderful friend that can't tell us the rules. Mm -hmm. More than likely. At least he's the only one that would own a satellite like that that might doesn't want to kill us or keep us in line. Hmm. 
She's like, well, I don't know what I can say for this. Only advice I have is maybe talk to him. Maybe he can give you a lead. Really, only the legendary Legion might know at all what happened to her. They were the last to see her before they disbanded. Well, that is probably our best bet for that, then. How are we supposed to get in touch with them? Well, you know one of them already, personally. Yeah, but he said he didn't want to talk to us. That's not quite what he said. We just... We have to work around his weird restrictions. In theory, mm -hmm. you try to find some of the others. I don't know what's holding him back from saying things. I don't know. Maybe the others don't have the same restrictions he does. Oh, I guess your grandma's kind of in for a penny and for a pound here. Um, well, we know where two of the others are, but neither of them are in a state to do much of anything. But do you think that the mecha guy might have cameras on his mech the way you're constantly recording things? He might, but he wouldn't have had that suit when uh, when Paradigm left. We can try it, but I'm not expecting to get much out of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it all uploads to the same place. It's possible, but I'm not sure they would... I'm not sure... Uh... They would want to archive that. Seems kind of risky to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to the lady in the tube again. No, I feel like that would be a bad idea. <laughs> it's probably not safe. Yeah. Frankly, She's I don't really... think it's safe for any of us right now. Sorry, kids, I wish I could give you more advice, but you may have to find your own way on this one. I mean, Hex and Ghost, any chance you two could find other satellites that might work? I mean, I can prob I'm sure I can, like, get into something. The problem is <clears throat> whether or not anyone will uh, notice a satellite missing, and I'm guessing probably yes. Well, I'm not sure missing, but, like... Not doing its job, rather. Ah. There. Can you just borrow one that's doing a similar job for a couple of minutes every hour? Maybe, but at that point, you're literally... It's basically equivalent of throwing a tiny pebble into a lake and expecting to hit a really specific fish. The chances of it actually working are slim. And by um, by, lake, yeah, I, by need, lake, I mean pretty much all of the water on Earth. Yeah, you'd, real, you'd need to be really lucky to get something like that to happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Still, it's a non-zero chance, and it's relatively low effort, so we might as well... Mm -hmm. Worth a shot at nothing else. Right. Hmm. Well, that brings us to the other question of what are we going to do about everything after this? As we said before, I'm giving it a few weeks probably before we get lined up to declared vigilantes who are dangerous to the public? Well, we can probably maximize that time by staying out of the public eye. Mm -hmm. Well, Paradigm's in space. Maybe we should just go to space and find her. How do you suppose we get to space? It's not that far away. Well, the issue isn't so much getting to space, it's 
knowing where the hell paradigm is, which is no. almost worse than throwing random satellite uh, signals out and expecting a response. Yeah, I love it's that, not I love, that far away, but it's big. I love how in superhero settings, the "well, I guess we got to go to space" comment is pretty standard, and not like even out of the realm of possibility for lower level people. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is an argument about logistics. If we wanted to go to space, we could get there pretty quick. I mean, yeah. we could be there in literally a second if we wanted to be in space. The problem is you don't know where to go in space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also pretty sure most of you don't want to be in space. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of us would yeah. kind of die. Uh, actually... No, Ray's not going to survive. In most space. of us. I... Hmm. Um... Ziggy, what immunities do you have? I, I do have immunity to suffocation, so... Not enough. You need immunity to vacuum as well. Okay, then no. Um, question, because Edict of Memory would remember this. Um, that spaceship w that brought the... Uh, what I forget, what were we calling those three things? Were we actually calling them Membringers? I'm, I'm I remember the we were calling them. them. Endbringers or Titans or whatever we're calling them. Um, Which ones? The Kaiju. The Kaiju monsters. Oh, I they, don't think we actually call them anything. Yeah, well, the, the big monsters that came in on the spaceship, uh, what are the... We know that Exostar copied over all the data that was on that ship. What are the chances that they would have been recording things out in the recesses of space? Can we not... translate that? I mean, it's not impossible if I can... I mean, I I still have at least some of the recordings and information from when I was basically the ship. So, maybe? Can you understand it, though? Again, maybe. Um, admittedly, I have a much more powerful interface than the last time we dealt with the ship, so it's possible. Might be worth a shot. I mean, hey, worst case, if we really need to, if we really need to get to space, we can all, we could always use some of that data, even if it doesn't end up being directly related to the paradigm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, the lab, what, like star maps and whatnot in there? That's useful. Basically, or even just information about that other planet. Because I mean, at least that's. At least that's another planet with confirmed life. I mean, it's not given the given how rare planets that can generate life are. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's something related to paradigm there. Possible. I mean, at this point, I think we probably just have to start working on all those information gathering projects and all just kind of be ready to go into hiding at the drop of a hat. I mean, we probably want to establish somewhere else to meet and or is a base before we, ha wanna, before we have to worry about that because some start knows where we live and keep things. Yeah, that's true. Which I should probably talk to Grayzone about. Except she's asleep. I, I, I assume, by the way, that Watch is busy with wedding things. Yeah, he's busy with wedding things. That, that is a very fair thing. Yeah. It's a very fair thing. Grayzone um, is getting his month, her monthly belly rubs. I, I feel like Grayzone is taking a nap is the easiest way to explain this. Mm-hmm. Because she's, of belly rubs. She's sleep jumping across the globe. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So should we try finding a proper way to get to space? Do you, do you know how to fly a spaceship? 
Yeah, I've played Star Fox 64 and Asteroids. Those are two wildly different viewpoints, okay. let alone controls. If you'd said, like, Microsoft Flight Sim, that, that would have been one. Well, like, I'd even, have, I'd even have accepted, like, TIE Fighter. I've played TIE Fighter. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is boring. There's no objectives. But it's really easy. Look, I have a computer and a constantly awake AI in my head. We can probably get the information to figure it out and keep the systems running. Hmm. Does it know how to do a barrel roll? I'm sure she can figure out how to do a barrel roll. Is the AI in your head under control? Yes, she's fine. We're fine. You sure? You did come back from the dead. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Uh, that thing had free reign of your dead mind for, uh, how long was it? I think it does. It was only like 20 seconds, so. 20 seconds to a super fast AI is a lot of time. Look, as best we can tell, I was revived to the state, the exact state I was in physically before, you know, that. There's, there. Besides, I can run self-diagnostics, there's been no indication of any physical changes no, yeah, and yes there would have to be physical changes in this case mm -hmm. that's fair hmm. we'll see. Um, that sounds like the start of any sort of plan for this Try okay. And find information. Well, I guess I can look for other members of the Legendary Legion and just like do normal shows. So we have to stay out of the public eye. And just. I... <clears throat> I mean, some of us vanishing from the public would be stranger than anything else. So I shouldn't leave the public. And I'll stay, at, want... I'll stay at the zoo. What I was saying is like I still need to do shows. Me not doing shows would be stranger than anything else. Your shows are really good. Thank you. Yeah, so just from a, a GM perspective here, I kind of decided for this session and moving forward, I'm going to let you guys decide what you think the best course is. I'll react more to you than you to me for this situation. Well, I guess let's start running down those leads. Mm-hmm. Can I help with any? Can I help with anything? You know, you and Iris might be the best people to start figuring out the base situation while Geist and I are handling all the tech stuff. I mean, I can just if we want a place inside of inside of uh, the underground underground somewhere, I could just make it for us. It's really more a place to, to meet and, like, have chairs, though. Right, but if we're going to... If this is going to go as badly as we think it's going to go, we're probably going to need to have something at least slightly more permanent. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, we need, we need to be thinking long-term here. Hey, Sean. Yes. How... Public has Garth been about the amount of money he has asked? Be like, why we could just rent a random building under a dummy corporation. Uh, Garth has been as public as the well. I can buy out our contracts if we need to. So pretty public. Yeah. So Garth, why don't yeah, we do something useful 
and rent a new building at least temporarily that we can meet in. We're probably going to have uh, some kind of off the grid entrances too, so people don't see us going in and out. I, can I mean, try to, that's, I can... that's, all, that's all going to be a lot harder without being on the public record. <laughs> I mean, I, I can. I was I mean, literally I... thinking as simple as random warehouse that you, or you store something in. I, I can it more that. Business. Quite frankly, I can... it's not that hard for, for Geist and I to obscure the records of the sale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we can make an underground area. Well, how do we make it so that uh, other uh, paradigms in the area won't know we're meeting down there, is the question. How do we obscure powers? I mean, we can't. That's Unless X can build something like that, but... I mean, it's not out of the question. It won't be perfect, because quite frankly, there are way too many variations on powers. But I can probably put at least a pretty decent uh, security and uh, cloaking system together. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So build it in the zoo and then we teleport it to wherever we're going to have our temporary base of locations? No, the zoo's going to be too closely watched. I'm going to need to, I'm probably going to need to build it. So, I, I mean, I have a, I have a workshop that's relatively off the grid. I can probably put stuff together there and just have Iris blink it over. Mm-hmm. And if we want to go outside in the random mountain idea, I could we could build an entrance there. Like I can just dig, make a slide, I guess, for everyone to get in. I won't need a slide, but I I can also you know make the inside more building like. It, it's easy to make it building like. The problem is getting electricity, like electricity, machinery any of the things that we would need, computers, any of the things that we would need if we want to actually use it as a base as opposed to a place to stay. So have you guys decided on a course of action? Yeah, I, I think we basically have a two, basically a two-pronged approach: getting a base established and then running down the information leads. Mm-hmm. Okay, just so you know, with the base, Wash is the character that's essentially put all the points in the base. Hmm. This is uh, the reason why I was like, if only we, ha- if only yeah. Grayson was actually here and so the, the, conscious. The way you can do that is you can essentially, from a, from a mechanical perspective have a different base usable for now. And I don't have to get rid of the old base, but you don't have to, like, access... You can't access both at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's fair. And, like, I'm assuming this is a thing that we... Actually transferring the points over would be a thing when Wash is actually here. Mm-hmm. So I suppose the question is, how many of us haven't spent all of our points from last session yet. I still have two points I haven't spent. I mean, I can, if I need to spend a point on the security system, I can do that. I'm I can into that. You, put, you just put them I'm, I'm tapped. I, I think it's not security that we're looking for. It's obscure. I'm not sure what the name is. So use the next. Yeah, and anti-detection stuff. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. We, we're not building traps. We're building you don't, you don't find us. Mm-hmm. Nice. Sorry, I was a little distracted there. What's going on? We're seeing how many of us actually have points to throw at this. No, no. So, like, it's fine. Listen, you don't have to. It just means that, like, and you can ask Wash next time when he's here that essentially Wash just has to agree that temporarily you're not going to use the other base and use an alternative base instead. Mm -hmm. That's really all that means. Okay. As long as Wash is okay with it, like, that's the only thing that needs to happen. Mm-hmm. So what are you guys coming up with for a new base? How many points do we have? I don't know. I'm watching. Well, 
You have access to Wash's sheet. Ah, you're making me work. Yep. Yeah. I mean, essentially, you just probably have a copy of the old... Like, bases are a lot of just flavor. For the most part, you can just ha say we have a base that's essentially mechanically identical to the former base. Okay. Except we're changing some things out for security. Or stealth. Well, yeah, so you, rather than, like, you, rather than hiding in plain sight, you're just hiding. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That's essentially a one thing. Concealed, thing. that's it. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's it's mostly semantics. It doesn't really need to, like, get... We don't need to get nitty-gritty with it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that, that will take some in-character time. Who's putting it together? I think we're all contributing a little. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, like, a little, but it sounds like... At least from this plan, it is probably a heavier lift on Hex, Iris, and Darth. Yeah. Which means Serenity and Geist can go pull records if need be. Sure, we can do that. And I can, in all honesty, given what I'm pretty sure I know of advantages, I feel like Iris and Hex can definitely do both. Quickness. True. Like, th this is very much a thing where if it comes up with a list of properties and it spends, like, five minutes looking around and thinking and knowing whether or not they're good ideas. Yeah, but even with your power set, like, construction takes time. Oh, no. Like I said, my power set here is figuring out if it's a good idea and making raw facility space if we're digging it out of, like, a hole in the ground or something. Getting power and, like, technology in there, that's definitely a thing that is, like, a takes time and I can't really help that much. It's probably Hex's job. Okay, so where do you making this base? Like, do we want to? I feel like outskirts of the city slash way out there is one of the better ways to do. Like, no one can find it. Probably, yeah. The yeah, issue is, do we want to like, build it in the heart of the mountain and literally just not have an entrance? And the way we get in is pouring in. Considering only two of us can do that, that sounds like a bad. Thing. I, I'm happy to make slides for everyone else to get in. The problem is then you're reliant on either Iris or Serenity being there to get out. Or Geist could probably just fly through the mountain very slowly. Yeah, it's no problem for me. Geist can get where he needs to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really long stairs. The longest stairs in the world. What do you mean stairs? He can just fall through it. Yeah. Climb back out in case they need to. We'll put in an elevator, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm hearing base in the middle of a mountain. And you guys can kind of work on some of the details a little bit later. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so who's putting in the time to building that? Uh, I mean, I'll definitely put some time into that. Like I said, I'm putting in the time of I can hollow out locations for us really fast. Right. Remember how much mass I have to be able to teleport for some of the shit I do. I know. It's, but it still is precision work, and that takes time. Yep. I mean, I have precision create. I, I do, too. It's just it's a question of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. you're you're gonna see me playing Tetris with one of the walls one afternoon. Yeah. No, it's believe me, it's not ability. You guys have the abilities to do this. You just need the time to pull it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm only asking because while some of you are doing that, I want to know what the rest of you are doing. Like I said, I think my mental quickness level get, lets me do some amount of investigation too, but yeah, uh, yeah, I probably also can at least. At least for the stuff that involves like just tech things, I can probably multitask to some degree. Yeah. Man, more likely I'll I'll help with the searching, but yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I'm hearing guys who's going to help with searching. Who else is on search party? I will use whatever attention I can to help with searching to help with searching too. All right, like I said, you are not able to help as much as you normally would. I mean, that's fine. Is anyone joining Geist? Uh, again, if they need me to help build the base, I will do that because I don't think I am as helpful for searching. I know. I, I don't think Sean has the capabilities to help out really either. Nope. I mean, Wex, am I looking at minus two or minus five for helping out with searching? Minus five. Okay. I'm going to make it pretty pretty debilitating. Um, can I roll tech at minus five for helping with tech things? I, I, I get, it depends what you need to, what you're trying to help them with. I mean, I'm mostly helping Geist with, like, getting the records from the ship and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. You can just pause and do that. Okay. What, what, what information are you trying to get? Um, like... Basically, basically, just whatever kind of data dumps we can get from the from the ship itself, like logs, uh, like logs, any unusual energy readings, like the location of that other planet, just in case, shit like that. The mm -hmm. well, the ship? Are we referring to a satellite or the? No, the 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 ship that the Endbringers came in. Oh, okay. Well, that's that back on their planet. Right, but they took, but obviously Exosar took a shit ton of data from it. I'm trying to get all the data. Yeah, also I believe I took some data from it. Okay, yes. yeah. Um, no, so you, you're really, you're not even like, you're just analyzing data that you have. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like if that's what you guys are doing for investigation, I'm probably trying to find other members of the Legendary Legion. I mean, yeah, sure, I can tell you where a lot of them are. It, it's like finding and trying to get in touch with them. Well, all right. Um, let's see. What order should we do this in then? I guess people making the base is going to take care of itself. For people investigating, yeah, make some knowledge searchy rolls. I got twenty nine, even with the minus five penalty. That's disgusting. You should feel bad. Sorry, my roll twenty password is being dumb. I don't feel bad. I feel great about this one. Okay, so Legendary Legion. Like I said, uh, they were the primary team. Like, they were the original primary team, the OGs. Mm -hmm. They disbanded, like I said, um, I think, what did I say, like 25 years ago, roughly? Yep. So, in terms of their members and where they are, um, again, Paradigm was never confirmed. What yeah. happened to her really is not known. Um, the only people that might know that are the members of the Legion themselves. That The rumor is space, but who knows? Mm -hmm. um, you're pretty aware of where Lion of the West, Tranquility, and Mecha Man are. Yep. Which leaves you with five members to find. Yep. So I guess let's go through what you find on each of them. Mm -hmm. um, the first is Megalodon. So they basically like, you know, kind of the Hulk Aquaman character. Mm -hmm. uh, Megalodon, from what the records you can find say looks pretty disfavorably upon the Legion and land-bound people in general at this point. He was mm -hmm. rumored to rule a undersea kingdom of some type off the, uh, somewhere in, like, the, uh, off the, in, like, the, the Pacific. Mm -hmm. Um, those rumors are probably true, as people have seen, like, what can only be described as Atlantean fish people every now and again. Um, you do find some stuff that seem to be records that indicate where his, like, it wouldn't be Atlantis, because Atlantis is in, you know, the Atlantic. But where his, like, undersea kingdom is, because it's seen a lot of, like, countries seem to treat it as, like, a no-ship zone. Like, you don't, you don't take ships through it, because they don't yep. get 
But again, he, he is underwater. That'll take a long time to search through and try it at best. Uh, let's see. Going through others. Um, then there's Apollo. Uh, people have not seen Apollo for a while either. Apollo had his new team, the Advant Guard, which was the team with Stardust on it and Big Kahuna. Um, and the disaster 10 years ago ended that team. And Apollo apparently went back to Mount Olympus, wherever that is. Presumably in Greece, but... Maybe. Or near Greece, at least. He hasn't been seen for a while, either. Um, mm -hmm. The most active of them is Penumbra, who is was a very young woman at the time of the Legendary Legion. She apparently is a, a leader of a major superhero team now in Europe. She is rumored to have extraterrestrial origins as well. Well, when it comes time for that, that seems like our best bet so far. But mm. yeah, she 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 she's more like busy and international in terms of like being able to like find her. Mm -hmm. And Europe's got all their own laws and stuff about all this. Yep. Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, is there only one left? Atlantis. Um, basically unknown. Back to... Should be eight of them. Is he? You're I the one who takes notes. I know who the last one is. I'm just saving them for last. I'm just counting now. Of the West, Tranquility, uh, Mecha Man. Isn't that the? Isn't there the Wicker guy? The what? The didn't you say there was like a, a straw man person? You're mixing up your teams. I have got two teams on the play field for this. Uh, just here. I, I give me a minute. I just got to count in my head. Yeah. Okay. So the last. So the last member. I, I was right. I just had to count. Uh, is uh, Azamem, mm -hmm. the uh, supposed master of the sands of time. Um, he also has not been seen in a while, but Azamem is just kind of a mysterious guy in general. Again, he's said to have mastery over the sands of time and has literally appeared throughout history in, like, texts and stuff if you go looking for him at various ages and time periods. Um... The main rumors are that he has his own city that he guards outside of time and space called uh, Shai Deja, the city that always has been and never was. I mean, he sounds ideal in regards to us explaining what's going on and then maybe getting help. Presumably because we could talk to him about, hey, an oracle told us about this. <laughs> But he probably he's considered the most powerful magical practitioner on the planet Earth. Okay, I, mean, I, I just kind of wanted to re meet him for that reason. But if he if he's hard to really hard to find and is assumed to exist outside of time. Yep. We have any idea about last known sightings of him? That's a difficult question with him. From our temporal perspective. I mean, he appeared a few months ago. Yeah, uh, he appeared. He was an old man at the time, and he appeared in some village in Russia and stopped an avalanche. Okay, interesting. I, I feel like at some point, Iris is going to be, Darth, can you ask your Nana whether or not she has any ability to figure out when this guy's going to appear next and where? 
Ooh, that's an interesting idea. To be fair, we just believed that she was making things up when she said she could go through time. Well, this sounds like a really good way to test that. Are you, are you asking her? I, I'm asking... Presumably this is over the next few days, weeks, however long, so I'm asking Garth if he can ask her. Yes. So you do you ask her the question? Yep. She shakes her head. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, grandson, I love you very much, but I am not dealing with Azaman. Uh, I have been to Shai Jed once and never again. It, uh, it would end very badly for me if I ran into him again. Let's just put it like that. Mm -hmm. Still, he may be someone who knows things. A bit of a condescending prick, but he does know his stuff. You know, time is an open book to him, pretty literally. Hmm. I'm still looking at the person who actually is a public superhero in Europe as our best option so far. And she's an alien, which means... Means... Well, it means she might know more things about space. I mean, no? Maybe. <laughs> Assuming that's accurate. Um, that sounds like it's it for my investigation. So what is it? All right, who wants to go next? Um, I guess we will. Certain. Yeah. Okay. Go and for what, what do you? What what type of information are you trying to find? Just so I know what I should be telling you. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Even if it's just like a ballpark. Uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Um, it's all good. The um. Let's see. I mean, I guess, uh, I guess, like starting looking at like any like satellites or like any uh, like any other information that we can like any. I mean, I guess uh, looking into the affairs of anyone or I, I forget his name, but uh, of uh, finding some means of uh, of actual of like some spaceship that we can that we can possibly find, maybe procure. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, so a lot of that data has been used to start reconstructing a reasonable ship. Um, Exostar is making it, by the way. Oh, good. Well, I'm happy to steal it from them. Um, the production of it actually should be ready within the next month. The, the plan was to have the uh, prototype um, head out on a mission to Mars to uh, see if they could harvest some samples from it. Because, in theory, the ship should be able to make the trip within a matter of hours. Okay. If not faster. Again, the tech they pulled was pretty powerful from um, uh, the ship. Let's see. Okay. okay. Uh, give, me, give me an investigation. We'll see if you find out anything else. Not technology? Uh, I let you do technology, but at minus two. Okay, yeah, that's that's better than what I got for investigation. So, oh, good, off to a great start. Mm, well, <laughs> I do not know why I get so many ones in this campaign. Well, someone's got to get them. Uncanny. Yeah, that's supposed to be Sean. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's it's clear that it's been me this whole campaign. So I feel like it's supposed to be Sean. It's supposed to be. It's not. <laughs> I yeah, well, Lex, well, I haven't gotten a 19 or a 20 yet either, so. <laughs> oh, how unlucky. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Negative one hero point to me. <laughs> <laughs> that means we get to change the scene? <laughs> All right. But yeah, so that's uh, with that role, that's what you find out. All right. Uh, does anyone else want to do any searching? Yeah, useful. Assuming I can split time, I can do some. Uh, same as Nick, negative five. All right. Uh, tech roll for this, right? Yep. All right. Uh, fuck. Don't want to spend a hero point. Yes. This is fairly important. The answer is always yes. Yes. Let's do that. The answer is spend your hero points. Mm. Hey, that'll okay. work. All right. So you're going to expand on some of what you found. So the Exodus ship, um, so the cover story is that it's going to Mars. That's not why it's being built. Of course. The main reason it's been built is it's actually made as both of the tech, but as a follow-up to some of the data found in the computer of the alien ship. Apparently, they registered a very strange anomaly in space within our solar system. Somewhere out, like, uh, between Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Apparently there's some sort of... The best way they can put it is it really is just a spatial anomaly where, like, the laws of space are not obeying correctly and it's giving off strange energy signatures. The Exostar ship is being built with shielding to hopefully be able to handle some of that to at least go investigate it and see what is going on. So we have to prevent the creation of the Fantastic Four. Got it. That's not the Fantastic Four. Except there's there's six of us. Fantastic. So you can disappear from sight. <laughs> it, turn, it, it turns out the bullshit four. radiation field takes away all of your powers. And the thing just loves to fight. All the four. Fantastic Anyway. They're one of my favorite teams. <laughs> They're always done dirty. Yeah. Um, there's also, and Dan, this is surprising because you are actually unable to break this one because there's nothing really to break with it. It's just, it's a, it's a completely locked down file with like some almost impossible to figure out parameters. There's a file in there called Code Will. Okay. And it seems to be some sort of special program, but it's even for you that is made of like the tech and code is essentially alien code. It looks like it's been created by Exostar, but like you're guessing from the design, even they don't fully know what it is. It looks like salvage code from the ship combined with some directives or that Exostar has in mind that's been implanted into it. Basically, it's some sort of like hidden directive or hidden information that can trigger under certain circumstances. I know computers. That definitely sounds like a computer thing. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I'm, I mean, can I at least like get a copy of that file and like work on it? Yes, though yours won't. Yeah, you can. You can. It won't have, it, like, it, you can set up a virtual simulation of it, but you can't, like, have the actual thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this can be, like, a long... I will give this to you as a long-term project to investigate. Okay. This is not a course of this game, this specific session project, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, um... So yeah, that's what you guys find out in the course of time it takes to build the base. I'd say cool. the base takes about a week, maybe two. That sound reasonable? Yeah, sure. That's damn fast, but yeah. Okay, so we'll say two. We're weeks. superheroes. We can do it fast. 
I don't know. By the, the way, the design process Wax. won't take very long. Yeah. By the way, Wex, I, while I know it's a bad idea to have continued going on with this plan, how goes the plan take over uh, Nick's mom's company? Oh, you're actually going to try that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if I've got some free time, I'll help with that. <laughs> He's doing it legally, though. Is he? Didn't yes. your mom tell you not to poke the bear? <laughs> Yeah, but he didn't I mean, listen. I find this hilarious. I'm not sure how much I can help, but I find it hilarious. Oh, it uh, is hilarious. I mean, you're essentially in a litigation, like secret litigation battle between your dummy companies. It's going nowhere quickly. <laughs> if you buy her out, we can <laughs> burn all the I, art in the world to the ground. I mean, once again, it, it, what it boils I'll, down to is the... What it boils down to is the fact that they, uh, they she, decided they want to be publicly traded to make more money. She's richer than you. Doesn't matter. Turp. Oh, boy. I think the answer is we now know who is going to be the biggest problem as such. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will tell you some uh, events that have been like. Where, where have you guys been? Just in the mountains and like quietly investigating things. Yeah, I'm in the mountains, in the base. but not doing as much as a hero unless it is like incredibly obvious and required to maintain quote our cover. Um, okay, so in terms of like, other than Iris, has anyone been making public appearances of any type? Uh, I'm going to the game shop a few times, but I don't think people will recognize me. I don't think you've been identified specifically. Yeah, so I'm in town, and I'm going to the zoo and to the new base, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, Grey Zone's sleeping at the zoo, I guess, for mm -hmm. two yeah. weeks. I'd, I would definitely be doing some hero appearances. I mean, even if it's some of them are like, I have to send, like, I have to send Minerva out with the Nano Cloud while I'm doing other shit at, at times. All right. So, are you ever appearing directly? Yeah, I mean, I'll appear sometimes directly, just not all the time. Okay. So, I guess what I'll do is give kind of a like, Dan, you and I are going to do something in a minute, and I'll give a truncated version to everyone else because you're the only one making a super direct hero appearance from the description there. Like I said, I'm still doing some when I notice it, which is often, but Iris is mostly doing shows and occasionally doing he minor hero appearances. Okay, so I'm hearing Iris, I'm hearing Hex. Is anyone else actually doing heroing? Yes. Okay, so the three of you. Just the three of you? I mean, I'm, I, I, don't, I never did exactly public hero work, so... Yeah, so I, I'm looking for people being public right now, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have any public identity yet until we're forced into the limelight again. Okay, Same so just, just, just the three of you guys. So uh, let's do a quick summary. The nature of the city, I would argue, changes pretty drastically over the course of the next two weeks. Um. In terms of, like, law and enforcement, crime has gone down a lot. Um, as uh, Judge Thunder's new um, protection protocols are put into place. Uh, essentially, he is um, managed to requisition um, extra help from Exostar. Um, they've basically got, like... I'm trying to, I don't want to say too much about it, but they've, they've essentially got like what looked like armed private militia helping out. Oh, good. Not uh, horrendous amounts of them, but very well trained ones, and they're under Judge Thunder. Um, they're acting pretty much as like a constant patrol throughout the city and dealing with very minor offenses and crimes. For big disasters, the squadron has been making themselves known, and the public is loving them. They're well, loving the totalitarian militia? No, they love the squadron. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. The, Honestly, if they're stopping supervillains, cool. 
They are actually. Um, the squadron basically goes to work very quickly. They have the full backing of Exostar, and it seems mm-hmm. that you can tell with those resources they're putting down a lot of crime. They um, actually, uh, while they don't win, they actually manage, for example, to hold off um, a encounter with Ruin at one point, and at least manage to buy enough time until like um, Judge Thunder and the. Uh, you know, his his militia and some other heroes for uh, show up. Fucking PRT. <laughs> Actually, I realized during the like monthly di- the like every other week to monthly dinner, I was probably hearing about the bitching about that. Oh, very much so. He's really angry. He actually like straight up like says like you know, you know, I'd really preferred fighting you and your friends. You were so much you know easier and easier to goad. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, <for me. laughs> I wish I could say he was wrong, but he's not. It sounds like the like the, the team is like a little like weird and esoteric, but they function very well together, or at least publicly seem to do so. Cool. Okay. <laughs> like Iris is legitimately happy that there are other superheroes that seem to be functioning well. And actually functioning, especially if he's complaining about this. But the other news, uh, and here's the bad part for you guys, your lessened appearances seem to have caught the news' attention as well. Lots of uh, stories about what's happened to Spectrum. Um, you know, have the, the hero, you know, the heroes not around? Have they admitted guilt and are ashamed to show their faces? Are they letting the, you know, the squadron supersede them? And there's, like, rumors of, like, scandal and stuff and um, how you're working for villains or something. Like, there's a lot of rumors going around. Uh, A lot of them come from a man named Henry Rickman, uh, also known as, uh, by his uh, journal, like, a sleazy journalism handle, Switch. He's, like, a really, like, tabloid... um, Yeah, really, yeah. Shock Jock actually is the perfect way to put it. But he has a lot of the beat on the city, and he seems to have nothing but bad things to say about you guys. He's actually, as he talks, he's pulled up a lot of info that you didn't think was public. Like, he's, he's managed to make some connections that he probably has no right making. And you're not really sure how he knows. For, like, example, he's, he's pulled up rumors that uh, Iris's parents may be villains. Doesn't say who, but uh, there's some you know unconfirmed rumors about that, and some citizens say that she's reckless with her powers. Mm-hmm. Um, there are so like he brings up stories about how um, uh, Avernicus is. Uh, is Sean, your is your identity still secret? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. He kind of spent a lot of time bashing you. Uh, basically, like, you know... Uh, where have I been? Blah, blah, blah. That where have you been? Is this his team to lead? Why does he step up and take charge? You know, some you know, some god of fortune he's named after, etc., etc. A lot of, like, shit-talking, like, game night and stuff after all that news. And, like, just... He really rails on game night hard. Sorry, Izzy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, a lot of, as much as he can, like, he, he can't really get info on it, but he spends a lot of time, like, bashing, um, Geist as, like, this, like, black ops military guy they must have hired, and they use you to do, like, dirty work and hide their secrets. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> and, like, like, just, just very shock jock with some elements of J. Jonah Jameson in it. Sure. Mm-hmm. And the city is kind of listens. The opinions of you, of you guys, is, are kind of low. And let's kind of uh, we're gonna let let's do a scene for the three people actually heroing to kind of bring this into perspective. So uh, let's see who to focus on um, for this. Presumably, heroing as a group. What? Presumably, we're somewhat heroing as a group, but. Yeah, well, so um, you guys have, 
I don't know. How do you want to pick up hero? Like, how would you be listening for like stuff now that you're not really being backed anymore? No one's like telling you what to go fight. I mean, a we can I can tell where some level of combat is happening in B, but police radios. Okay, so um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so a a large fire has broken out in a uh, major office like uh, set of complex buildings. Uh, Nick, you finished a show and uh, noticed it once your attention was able to be diverted to it. I mean, it would probably be contact hex and yeah, Averticus via the normal method. Okay. And you guys teleport there? Teleport there to start helping out. Honestly, I we've dealt with fires before. Dealing with the same way as before. Teleport, like, build a cool for people to be dropped in if they are on fire or need, like, water and then t start teleporting people out would be the plan. Okay. So, uh, you show up there, I assume? Oh, yeah. Like, would be teleporting people in person for that. Cool. Uh, so you show up and you realize very quickly that some of the, uh, the humans there are not humans at all, Nick. There seem to be, uh, well, for lack of a better term, demons. There are demons attacking this building and setting it on fire. Okay, so are they obviously demons? I mean, not to me obvious, but like to people obvious. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Uh, the answer is fight them then. Yep, roll initiative. Three of you involved. Do, 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 do. And we're kind of just theater of the mind, this. 23. Damn, Sean, do the thing. Yeah, uh, I need to turn on roll 20, because I was not expecting it. Eleven. Okay, just waiting for Sean. All right. Uh, so it's going to be Nick, Dan, Demons, Sean. Um, I mean, so are they like trying to burn more of the building? Are they all outside? Where are they at is the big question. I mean, there's a mix of them. There's a bunch outside. There's a bunch in the building. They seem to be terrorizing people as well. The big problem is there's a lot of them, and even for you, you, you don't have a move that can just insta-teleport everyone at once, do you? Uh, I do, in fact, have AOE teleport with a high weight limit. How far? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go double-check how much range I got on that. I'm going to spend a hero point of extending the range, though. What? I mean, it's a 30-foot burst around. It's 30-foot burst. Okay. I mean, that's not enough to get people, like, out of the building from where you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the... It's a, are more demons inside or outside? It's pretty equivalent. Are there... And the demons inside actually have people there. Demons outside are like throwing torches or something or fireballs. Yeah, they're throwing fire out of their hands. Uh, I believe the answer is big showy entrance outside and using the. Uh, actually, using what? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, fascinate advantage to draw all of their attention to me rather than the building, and then fight. Take those ones outside, being like. Darth Hex, there's more inside, but I can directly annoy the ones out here more. Okay, so you're going to just fascinate and get their attention? Fascinate them, get their attention, do magic tricks that happen to hurt them. And, like, it's the demons. Okay, well, fascinate, I believe, is an action, right? Okay, it's, a, it's an action to actually do it, but it's draw all their attention to me rather than the building that they were burning. 
Okay, so yeah, that works. Though, again, that will be your turn. Uh, Hex, what do you want to do? Uh, well, how like how how many civilians are there? Like, there are a lot of people like down and injured, or yeah, there's a there's a fair amount. Some people are burns. Um, a lot of people are mostly just scared. There's a few people trapped under rubble, from what you can see, at least. All right. Um, honestly, best thing I can probably do against a bunch of guys like this is go invisible and start trying to free and heal people because I can do all that in support mode. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the demons are up. And Nick, they all start chanting and a giant fireball appears in the air above them that they all seem to be channeling fire into. Mm -hmm. And the fire descends at you. But, right as before it seems to hit, um, you hear a whistling sound in the air. Mm -hmm. And you hear a voice. Yeah. It's like, get down! And a rocket hits the fireball, uh, blowing it back into the demons. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You look up. I mean... I can probably tell who it is anyway, if, anyway, because I'm because of stuff. Yes, you take all the fun out of surprises. How <laughs> does that do? You should target other people with surprises. Well, this wasn't targeted at you, so whatever. Mm -hmm. As firework soars out of the sky, um, she seems to have used a rocket to blow back their fire. Uh, she says something on her radio. And a second later, uh, all the demons uh, seem to be tied up. And TikToks is standing next to you, uh, doing that with her hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, thanks for the assist. Let's get the rest of them at, through this and the people out of the building. Yeah, sure, whatever, Grandma. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't they like the same age? You heard what she said. I will go visible and give Firework a little wave. She kind of waves a little back. Um, and then like she looks where she's like, look out! And there's like, as you appear, there's some demons behind you, Dan. And a giant blob falls on them. All right, then. As Plasmoid kind of drops... Um, yeah, Plasmoid is kind of airdropped from it looks like they have, like, a jet up above. Or no, no, it did not a jet. Uh, so a, if you look up, there is a um, pentagram that has appeared in midair, and he fell out of it on them. Who is that? Gee, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo. And uh, so Firework kind of flies by. She's like, careful, you need to watch yourself. All right. Sean, you're up. Um, well, I'm going to go into the building to just try and direct people out and look for people and direct them out. All right. You head on in. Uh, yeah, there's, people are kind of panicked, um, you want to make a, uh, persuasion check to get them to follow you? Sure thing. Uh, what's the general demographic of people? Uh, business people. Okay. Whoever you see in like office buildings, you know, white collar. A lot, a lot of suits. White collar worker drums. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, you managed to uh, direct them out. Um, you're getting a lot of people following you. They start exiting, and um, but while you are distracted because you are busy doing this, uh, two demons pop out, ready to claw I, you. I have. I have danger sense. 
Okay, so you're not surprised. In also, that- also, uh, they seem to stumble over each other. Okay. Are you using like the accident thing? Yep. How is that uh, working? Are they just like making a? Uh, I'm making a move object roll. Okay. On. Uh, so it's a grab attack, move object. It's a uh, subtle four indirect. Um, two, two, two. What's the number on it again? Does it emanate from you? I think is the big question. Nope. It's fine. It's probably four. So um, I did roll it. Uh, one of them trips and falls. The other uh, no, of- it's 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 actually what the way it works out is it actually has become a it's a move object. So I'm grabbing them as an action with move object. Okay, so they're resisting with strength. Yeah, it's a you're up against a strength ten effect. Okay. All right, so one of them fails and knocks the ground, but the other one manages to kind of like stumble through and pull himself up, and he raises a claw to swing at you. Um, and then it was suddenly decked in the face as Prophet soars out of nowhere and kicks him in the head. He's like, Good, you're that, he's the last one out that knows you're here. You're clear. Go. Get them out of here. Got it. Come on, people, follow me. They look unsure looking between the two of you, but inevitably go with you. I mean, Prophet even told the, t- said that I was clear to lead them, so what's, mm-hmm. why would they be? Well, impressions are important. Uh, what's the top of the order? Nick? Uh, are the demons outside still threats, or no? Um... Not, uh, like, there's a, this pocket is not, but there's a pocket nearby that is. No, I'm going to say, like, if they're not really big threats, I'd be like, all right, thanks for being first. I'm going to go, and I'm assuming there's other people still inside. She's like, uh-huh. And she's actually, like, typing on her phone right now. And, uh, she's... Uh, no, I was just like, all right, I'm going to get um, some things out from deep in the building. She's, uh, busy snapping a selfie with you in the background. I already want her dead. Yeah. All right, so you're getting some folks out of the building? Yep. Okay. Uh, You managed to, yeah, target a few more and port them out. Um, Yeah, it's, uh, this is where a big AOE teleport matters because I was just going to, like, go into where there's a group of people, like, everyone, getting you out of the building. Three, two, one, spell name, bring them out to the street. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you find TikTok there who saved about uh, 1.5 as many people since you were gone. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're good there. Here, smile. She takes a picture with all of them, and they seem very happy. Starts typing on her phone again. It, in all honesty, Iris doesn't really have any problems with this. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> like... Here's what's me. Oh, good job getting that many out. She completely ignores you. Uh, all right, so the, the threat's starting to die down, Dan. Um, honestly, uh, I know, now that I have an addition, I'm going to go back to being invisible and uh, start trying to dig people out of the rubble. All right, uh, yeah, you, you're able to kind of like disassemble some of the rocks and stuff. Um, you actually spot nearby that a uh, platypus man is holding off a bunch of them from your location. He seems to be a whirl of kicks, and you actually spot like little spines on his knees that he's jabbing into like enemies, the, the demons with back kicks, as he kind of vaults over them acrobatically, throwing boomerangs. Hmm. Do platypuses have those? Yeah. No, for real. Platypus have, like, poison spines on their legs. Yeah, on their ankles. Mm-hmm. That's that how is that works. A, that is a legit thing they have. Yep, it's true. 
Perry the Palatipus is so much more intimidating now. Yeah, they don't talk about that in the show. The yeah, Palatipus have some interesting features. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So Dan, you managed to get a few more people out. Um. We'll just skip to Sean. What do you got? I mean, I'm going to continue directing the group that I was that I'm in charge of. Okay. Uh, Sean, as you're doing that, you see several uh, pentagrams appearing around the building. And you spot near the entrance a uh, Stygian holding what looks like the friggin' Necronomicon open in front of him, hair like up in the air and waving, eyes glowing, chanting something. Um, do you have any idea what their intentions are. I mean, can you speak su ancient Sumerian? No, but but uh, how? Oh, well, first of all, I'm going to analyze them. Okay. Oh, interesting idea. Uh, I mean, I think you can only do one right now. So pick who you want to analyze. Stygian. He's cool. the one that. Yeah, I mean, um, you have to remind me what you learn, you, what you can learn. I always forget this ability. Um, I learn his, his def on success. I learn uh, his defenses compared to mine, and for for degrees of success, I learn exact numbers. Okay, uh, make a roll. You can do it. Nah, bad roll. Whatever. Okay. Uh, what, what what do you have to succeed at initially? Just so I know what you learn exactly. Uh, it's it's opposed by his deception. Oh, his deception. Interesting. Okay. Well, he failed that utterly. Oh well. Natural ones are fun. Mm. Natural okay. ones are fun. Okay. Uh, so his defense is definitely lower than you. Um, what's your his defense is a uh, a seven, just so you know. I mean, which defense is that? I'm oh, sorry. His his uh, his dodge and parry are, are sevens. Okay. His uh, natural toughness is maybe like two, mm -hmm. but something's enhancing it. Not surprised. Uh, what else do you get to know? Uh, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, he is. He is toughness shifted. All right. Um. So as you finish escorting people out, he slams the book, says something that sounds horribly evil, and um, it starts raining from the portals, from like the the Stygian circles. It's a weird, like, purple-reddish rain, but it is rain, and it does seem to be putting out some of the fires. They're doing, they're doing the job. That's what I care about. Yep, and um, a second later, firework is kind of sailing through. Um, you see her say something into her headset. She seems to be communicating with the rest of the team, and she's spraying, like, um, foam into the building to put out, like, a... Uh, fire extinguisher foam to put out fires. Because of course you build that into your firework suit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A few minutes later, all of the uh, demons seem to be restrained. Um, as the situation comes to a close, the demons all kind of shriek and seem to evaporate in flame. All right. Um, as the situation uh, calms down, the uh, the squadron kind of gathers up, and the crowd seems to be very excited that they're there. And begins like kind of adoring them and asking them questions and stuff. What do you guys want to do? I am assuming that we are getting at best the cold shoulder. Yeah, mostly. The crowd seems half interested in you, but mostly interested in the squadron. You just be like, okay. seems like they have it here. Here, let's go find some uh, other places that need help. 
Mm-hmm. Sounds good. So, Dan, it looks like um, Fireworks kind of looking around for you, sees you, looks like she wants to go towards, but then the crowd kind of swamps her a little. Um, you know what? I'll get her on a private radio channel. Okay. Hey, uh, and she's like, um, a Alex, hi. Uh, sorry, I'm a little, little busy right now. Um, are you, are you all right? Did, did, did we, did you get hurt in there? Hey, Katie, no, I'm, I'm fine. We're fine. Oh, well, that's, that's good. I'm sorry I didn't, I'm sorry, it really went fast in there. I didn't mean to, I mean, you know, I, oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting tongue tied. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, where have you been? Have you been okay? Like we haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in weeks. Yeah, we just we we've been out somewhat, but yeah, we're just trying to not be. We don't. We didn't want to step on your toes. Basically, you you're didn't you're really stepping toes. on our toes. Why don't? Why didn't you stay? Like we could. I'm, I'm sure we could. You, you helped out too. You know. Yeah, but not everyone sees it that way. Well, that's what happened. I'm, I'm sure the crowd would see it that way. Everyone, you were heroes here too. I wish I shared your optimism on that. I mean, do you want to listen? Do you, you want to meet at some point? Maybe we can talk in person. You know. I'd like that. How about, how about tonight? There's a, I know this fun little roller rink. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll uh, just send me the just send me the send me the address. I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'll, look, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Prophet's looking at me kind of weird. I think he knows that I'm distracted. What I mean, he definitely knows I'm distracted. He always knows. It's okay. Go to go to your team. Yeah. But oh, okay. Stay safe. Okay. You too. Who uh, who monitors social media? Yo. Oh, uh, TikTok is basically blasting you as an idiot. <laughs> like she, a lot of stuff. Like she's like, "Hey, word up to my followers out here helping out at this uh, situ situ at the sitch. Uh, we got this lame old lady here, the lustrous iris, more like the lame iris, right? Oh, hold on a sec. Yeah, see, so you got all these people's oh. Look, she doesn't even, look how oblivious she is. Smile. And she just spends, like, her whole time, like, bashing you like that. And, like, getting followers. Her stream's gonna have some technical difficulties. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Please, right. yeah, please, please block her for inappropriately flagged videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna, there are gonna be some really, uh, some really vile tags on her profile for a bit. Side note, anyone here been watching The Boys? Yes. No. 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 How much in season oh, two? So, so you're saying she's a, she's a, she's a white No, she's not that bad. She's not that bad. Just, I was thinking that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Side note, I think Stormfront is one of the most insidious adaptations of a character I've ever seen. And uh, a, that meme already makes me concerned. It should. I'll talk about The Boys later. I'm not watching it. Nor am I. Uh, let's. So I guess I do kind of want to talk about it. So in the comics, Stormfront is a straight out Nazi. Like, from oh, the shit with a name like that. Yeah. Uh, in the show, he's a girl, and she's also a Nazi, but she's a modern Nazi, which is uh, terrifyingly scary. Yeah. She, social media and drums up the right the alt right great super <laughs> i'll admit i wasn't sure where they were going with her at first and then i'm like oh she's that type of character okay yeah also be right back after the bathroom okay um but yeah so that 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 was an incident also there were demons mm-hmm there were demons? Weren't you guys scared? As we resume back at the base with everyone. 
There were demons. Weren't you guys scared? If they did them, we do. They were doing this for a living, kid. We'd be pretty poor heroes if we got scared of something like that. But demons, real demons, where would they come from? Hell, probably. So now we've got to find a superhero in space and close a portal to hell. Speaking of which, uh, this uh, the event's actually on the news. If you want to hear a news report on it. Is it, is it Switch? No, actually it's the legit news. Sure. Yeah. Let's hear, let's hear how they spin it against us. Our top story tonight, as the, uh, as the Western Business District was attacked by what seemed like hell demons... Fortunately, the squadron was on the scene and managed to uh, prevent uh, all loss of life with only minor injuries. Uh, here to talk about it on Talking Points are Prophet and Stygian. Thank you for joining us tonight as they put their faces on. And Prophet's like, no problem. Yeah, yeah, of course, ma'am. It just is, uh, we are very grateful to have the opportunity to be on here. Yes, of course. And now, now you said you are you are aware of where these demons they seem to have come from. Are they real demons? And Stygian's like, of course, they're real demons. They're from the yeah, they're from the Stig the satanic pits of hell, where they were summoned from by some otherworldly power. We're just trying. We are tracking them down now as we speak, so we can give the send them back to the eternal and deserved torture that they so rightly earn for themselves in a former life. Prophet's like, yes, as my companion says, we are working on tracking the source of them, and we can assure the public that we are finding solutions to the situation. We'll have the root of it soon. Fascinating. We're so very lucky to have heroes like you on the scene. Uh, I, we heard now we, from some of our eyewitnesses say that the members of Spectrum showed up. Is that true? Prophet's like, technically Spectrum showed up to assist us and support. Uh, we did appreciate uh, their assist, um, though we had the situation well in hand as it was. Ex yeah, excellent. Thank, thank you for being on, Prophet. You and your team, you and Stygian are an inspiration to us all. In other news, uh, Judge Thunder has uh, some comments about the recent situations. Um, the city, and it puts Judge Thunder on the screen. Yeah, the city's efficiency, yeah, the safety of the city has gone up 23% since uh, our new protocols were put in place. But I urge neighborhood watches to be observant. More and more yeah, vigilantes still operate outside the parameters of the laws as written. And they will not be able to escape under those clauses forever. Please stay vigilant and report any vigilante activity uh, immediately to uh, yeah uh, to the Thunder Corps. Thank you. And then it goes on to other news. To the Thunder Corps. That's what he calls his guys, the Thunder Corps. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, God, these guys are such tools. That's what they're meant to be. No, I mean, no, that was in character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still what they're At meant to be. At least it seems like they're actually helping. Yeah. Up until they want something from you. Then, I'm, then I imagine that protection will suddenly dry up real quick. Mm-hmm. What other vigilantes did he was he talking about when they said there was an increase in the city? Probably us. Almost assuredly but, us. But we've been here before him. That means there wouldn't be an increase. He doesn't really seem the kind of care, but actually, wax investigation roll. Yeah. I'm rolling that thirty-three. Okay, what do you want to know? It, whether or not there are actually additional vigilantes in the city. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah, no. He, it, he's absolutely certainly talking about us. Super. Okay, I need to use the bathroom for a few minutes. Uh, 
You can roll play. I miss Stardust. Yep, Stardust was great. Was was. I mean, she was really. I mean, she was really every bit as bad as he is. She's just not as. She was just more subtle about it. She was substantially better than he is. Not really. I mean, she didn't go bashing us on the news. That's something. Yeah, because we were on her payroll. Were we? Or she tried to. Eventually, sort of. Also, Hex, guys, I'm not sure which of you hit TikTok's Twitter feed, but thank you. That was it. That was Hex, yeah. I, uh, I had some fun with that. Need a little bit of fun right now. Oh, it's just gonna get worse. Mm -hmm. So what now? Our base is almost, or our hidden base is almost finished. Do we go out and try to keep helping people, or should we keep staying in the shadows? And I feel like they actually have things pretty well handled so far. Crime is actually down. But from the people who I found, going to Europe is, is my best guess for how we're going to actually be able to find any of them. Unless, I don't know, Garth, you, you can figure out a way for us to randomly walk, meet um. Oh, shit, was it Ouroboros? I'm trying to remember what his name was. Out of character. Uh, no, the time I, Yeah, I keep forgetting his name. Too. Nope. Megalodon? Yeah. No. The, the time travel guy. Oh. Uh, God damn it. Yeah. I mean, he's probably our actual best bet for figuring any of this out, but. Um, as a man. Yep, yeah, as a man. No. But I, I again, this is me out of character for getting names really easily. Uh, whoever the who's the person in Europe who is maybe an alien? Hmm. Uh that would be Penumbra. But I feel like Penumbra's probably our best bet for finding this out. All right, so let's see if we can find them. Can, oh, you the hmm? can you guys do like facial recognition software? But she has. She's running a team. Can it's just about getting a meeting. Well, I'm sure if we showed up in Europe, she'd be more than willing to meet up with us. Uh, I think at the very least, there are things we probably ought to. Send her in a message first. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's happening? We're discussing who to go meet. Finding Paradigm. Yep. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to try to get a message over to Penumbra. Okay. I mean, my terrible plan for this in character is send a message to her um, about, like, wanting to meet up and discuss things at some point with the um, hint that we are aware of the game and the rules, as it were. Okay. As a reason for her to actually meet up with us. All right. Uh, how are you like sending this? Like, uh, leaving a message for her, like in paper, as like a call, an email. Like, what, what? What's the delivery here? Unfortunately, Europe is in fact outside of my teleport a letter into their office range. Oh. I mean, I can easily go get a plane ticket to some random to the correct country and then do so. Which, like, honestly, pretty good odds that is the solution, unless anyone has a better one. We could just fly over. I, I, 
at the very least in this case, Iris is at least a fan of maybe we should send them a message first being like, hey, there are some important things that we'd really like to meet you and talk to you about. And then give her a hint that at the very least we know of some significantly important things. Does anyone have other opinions on this? No, that's going to sound good to Serenity. Okay, uh, so you send the message? I'm, I'm waiting for a team. Does anyone have opinions about this? For we are not actually a dictatorship. Yeah, I'd, I'd say send it. Yeah, it's the best plan we've got right now. So. All right. Um, should I? I'm going to roll deception for getting hidden messages about important things in there and what is otherwise a completely normal sounding met letter. All right. Okay. Yeah, you managed to make it like laced with information at least. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now, yeah. so do, well, do, you, do you have a method of being contacted? I mean, Iris literally has a public phone and email for her company. Fair. <laughs> you say it's from you? What? You say it's from you? Oh, no, this is definitely signed by, by Iris for this. Okay. okay. To see uh, well, if she is willing to help us. We're still going to have a little bit of response time there. Oh, yeah. Like, there, there's going to be an amount of time. All that right. would have been probably something we did, like, a week ago as we were still finishing up our hidden base. <laughs> well, in that case, let's... There are some roleplay stuff that I'd like to do. Dan, are you going to do your thing? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do my thing. Does anyone else have a role play thing they'd like to do? What's Dan's thing? Roller rink. Roller oh, yeah. rink. He's going on a date. Yep. yep. Wex, I'd like to spend a hero point to say that there was a skating competition going on the night that they were at the roller rink. You may do so. <laughs> cool. Does that fall under I... your purview? Again. I, I can smell competition, damn it. I will be there. <laughs> oh boy. I will not be there. <laughs> yeah, I will also not be there. Yeah, I'm not interrupting your date. Have fun. Mm -hmm. The only reason you get an interruption is if there was suddenly hero business to do. You're just in the middle of your date as you guys are getting to food. You look in the back and you're like, oh, fuck, Serenity's here. Damn it. So, yeah, uh, if you show up at the roller ring, yep. uh, I assume as you. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, I'm showing up as me. I am still very much fucking with all of the tech stuff so that I can't be, like, recorded or watched too closely. Of course, that, as, as is your purview. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, um, Katie sees you and waves to you. Like, um, Alex, you made it! Hey, come hey. on, have you ever, you ever skated before? Once or twice. It's been a while. Come on, let's get you fitted for shoes. I'm, I'm glad you came. I wasn't sure you were going to. Oh, I'm glad I could make it. Uh, also, I am going to be sweet, like, uh, quietly sweeping her for bugs, just in case. Um, I mean, you sense her tech on her. Okay. Because, yeah, like, I trust uh, her. I don't trust her team. Yeah. I mean, from what you can see, she seems to be the tech person on her team. Fair. But that doesn't mean there aren't people outside of the the public heroes that can do oh, that kind of stuff. No, um, you don't find... You don't seem to find anything on her. Okay. All right, um... And, you know, you guys get your stuff on and you head out into the ring. The music is going. It's a good time. 
And, you know, she, she, she takes your hand to steady herself. I haven't done this in forever. So, you haven't been around a lot recently, not since the whole, the, the whole thing that happened with your friend. Yeah, we've been trying to keep quiet and let things blow over, but um, it's not working. No, it, it isn't. Yeah, no, uh, they, uh, I didn't, you have to understand, but we didn't know that was happening. I just, it all happened really fast, you know? Like, one day I was Stardust's sidekick, and then suddenly she was gone, and I was offered this position, and you must hate me for say, for saying yes to this. I mean, uh, to be honest, you didn't have much of a choice with... You were already in the main hero pipeline. It was either go along with it, or you probably would kind of be out on your ass like we are. I mean, but I have a choice. It's, they're not that bad. You know, like, I don't know, you guys, this the wrong way, but I don't know, you kind of scare people these days, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, everything that happened, like, people kind of blame you for that. I don't even know what happened that day. Heck, I don't even know what happened that day. It, it was all... It's the kind of thing where the public can't really get the full scope of what happened. It's as much as it sucks to not be honest with people... It's yeah. the kind of thing that can't be public. She looks at you and studies you for a minute. Are you? I wanted to ask about that. Are you actually okay? You seem different since we last met. Like, something happened to you. I mean, it, a lot's I, happened, and... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that just I'm kind of numb to. Don't. She squeezes your hand a little. You, you can't be like that, you know? You get being numb and you forget to care. What's the point? You, listen, if you don't want to tell me what happened, you don't have to, okay? But I'll talk when you re you're ready. I, I appreciate that. I am. Maybe it's some, maybe someday, but right now everything's too fresh. Well, listen. You got you do got to be careful. You know that. Not just with that. Like, Judge Thunder's got it out for you. Me specifically, or the team. Uh, all you guys, all of you. I assume you are. I'm not an idiot. You're still working together, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna pretend we aren't. At least not to you. Look, he's, he's looking for any excuse he can. Okay. If he no. gets you on, if he figures anything out, he will bring his force against you. I and know. he kind of scares, listen. He scares me a little bit too. You know. He's so intense. It's not like Stardust at all. Yeah, I mean, if there was ever any doubts I had about not being part of the mainstream system, it all went out when uh, when leadership changed. Yeah, it's just it's still weird. I don't know. If I didn't know better, I'd say it felt like some sort of like internal coup or something. Given how fast all of this happened, it probably was, at least to some degree. That's what makes it hard. It's, I don't know, Alex, or, I just want to be a hero, you know? It's supposed to be easy. We fight the bad guys, right? Yeah. I really wish it were still that easy. Well, it could be. 
why don't you, you know, you thought about joining us? I, I don't think I can. I don't, I trust you, but I don't think I can trust the rest of them right now. Oh, they're okay. Especially, especially, uh, Oh man, someone give me a really Australian name. <laughs> Dundee. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, Wallaby. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, especially Wallaby. He's hilarious. You know that guy's from another dimension, apparently. Yeah, I've I've heard some of the interviews, but it's not. That's the funny thing about the whole hero business is that. What the public sees is all the people in costume and the heroics and all of the set. But once you've seen how the sausage is made, um, you have to start. You kind of start looking past the people who are in the costumes. Yeah, she she was there for the Concord, right? Yeah, yeah, she was. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, was. I kind of know what you mean, but like, I don't know. Look, we're young, right? They must know something we don't, right? They know how to get what they want. I don't... Look, maybe we can change it, you know? But if we, like... I don't know. You know, we, 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 we wait our time, pay our dues, and then maybe we make that change. There's a big problem with that. Because eventually, if you want to pay your dues to people that you can't trust, they're going to want you to do things you don't want to do. What? And either you stop and you're on the outs, can't move any further to further up the chain, or you do what they ask, and then you do it again and again. And... Eventually, you end up just being another part of it instead of being part of the solution. It's really cynical, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. And at this point, game night, our serenity, you notice uh, Alex and Katie sitting over there. No, oh, God. Oh, I was going to say, I was probably keeping an eye on them. Oh, okay. Because in this form, I have concealment on par with Sean almost. So they'll see me what I want. Wait, if there isn't going to be a uh, skating competition, I'm totally requesting the song that I posted in the chat. Okay. First off, what are you right now? I'm just me. Okay. Hit you so much, is he? Do you want to make a perception to notice serenity? Sure. I'm probably going to fail. Just so you know, I have this. Because it also mixes it with my disadvantages. Let's see. All I would need... I just realized something I'm going to do. After all this is done. Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. I mean, during, during, during that one part where that song is on and I'm the one on the rig, I will drop that because I have precise on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. if, I, if I have my suit on, I might be able to deal with the, the stuff, but without it, no. So uh, she's like, come on, why don't we go skate again? This got more serious than I wanted. Yeah, sure. You guys head out into the ring, and... Uh, as you do, the, the the music changes, and they're like, "Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, welcome to the roller ring. Uh, we've got a song request tonight for the beginning of our skating competition. This is from a uh, a young lady who uh, asked it for it for a friend." Okay. <laughs> and I have and I have no idea about this in character. <laughs> oh. Lord. It could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, you see. Vex, how many other couples are actually on the rink right now? Or how many couples, rather? There's more than just you guys. All right. 
But if, uh, but you can definitely see Serenity now, I assume. Yeah, when you're when you fall down, you're just gonna see Serenity directly behind you. Just be like, you know, head bob, giggle, and then just like vanish from your sight. One week too. Like doing a pirouette and vanishing in midair and continuing to skate away. She doesn't really, you don't really that's not how your concealment works. You kinda just like pirouette land. Blend in with the crowd. And then just kind of like disappear out of sight. Yeah. So okay. Make, makes it very clear that she's a that she decided to be a fucking fairy princess wingman. <laughs> Man, I feel like he's like proto Aladdin looking at him now. I mean, technically it was. Yeah, it kind of was. Yeah, he was. Oh, but, I mean, this was the pro, this was the proto Disney Renaissance. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, it started the Disney Renaissance. Well, yeah, exactly. yeah, it was it was the model for the whole Renaissance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was old enough that I saw it in theaters. Oh, wow! wow. You are old. <laughs> yes, I am. I was very young when I saw it, but my parents did take me to see it. Yeah, I actually got to see the Disney Renaissance in theaters. That's impressive. Again, I remind you, I'm a couple years older than all of you. Yep. Hey, Grandpa. Yep, that's me. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Is right. If TikTok shows up and destroys this by calling people Grandma... <clears throat> We already don't like that one. Uh, what are other folks doing? Uh, I wanna... believe the actual answer is probably grading papers. Uh, probably getting dirt on Judge of Thunder. Ooh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. I, mean, I like that plan. I'm going to call grading papers because of my complication. Yep. Uh, I just want to see if I want to bother you with anyone. <laughs> We all do have great complications. Let's see who. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, so Nick, you're writing papers um, in your office, right? Yep. There's a, there's a knock at the door. Who is it? Yeah. Uh, an admirer here to see you. I, I need to talk. That's not suspicious. I I feel like I'd have to roll insight given that. <laughs> okay, yep, definitely. Yeah. Natural 2038. Sure. Uh so he's telling the truth intermixed with a lie. He does wish to see you. And he is a bit of an admirer, so to speak. He definitely has other business that is primarily bringing him here. Mm-hmm. It's during office hours, isn't it? It is. Also, make a um. What's it to recognize someone? I have like a, an insider perception or note or something. Yeah. Yeah. With that, I, um, Nick. Yeah, that's profit outside the door. Oh, good. In civilian. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. You're just going to go up as like, all right. Just look at him. Is he actually a student here? Um, you're not sure. You don't, I can't imagine you keep track of every single person on campus. Is he one of mine is the question. Oh, no, definitely not. For the sake of love, it's just like, all right, can I help you? I don't think you're in one of my classes. No, I'm, I'm not, but I still wanted to talk to you, Professor, if I may. I, I'm not a professor, I'm a TA. Yeah. Oh, you're a TA? 
Oh, I, I still wanted to talk to you. Uh, What's your name? What are you, what are you <laughs> going? I, I wanted to know what you were going. Yeah. About, is all. Um, it, I, I believe the answer is is probably in like either a master's or PhD program, but be like, I'm not a professor. All right. Yeah, she's like, no, I uh, I just uh, wanted to talk to you if it's all right with you. I know you're yeah, kind of busy, but uh, Jesus. I know you're kind of busy, but I wanted just to take a second, if that's all right. I promise I won't be long. Sure. Um, what, is, what would you like to talk about? May I come in? Of course. So uh, you open the door. Um, this person is definitely blind. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, walking around with cane and glasses. Mm-hmm. I mean, he seems like he's a, he seems like he's able to actually get around by himself. Correct. I mean, you watch the dude like this is definitely profit. You know from like the body type, this guy was able to do like a spin flip and kick a dude in the face upside down without breaking a sweat. And I'm going to give him a little bit of plausible deniability, and also like an amount of is not going to eat like. For it's one of those things where, like, I personally know that people get weirded about like offers to help. So Billy is going to assume that he does not need help unless he asks for it. Oh, he does not. Yeah. So he uh, he takes a seat and he's like, "So again, I apologize uh, to interrupt you during these hours." Um, and he closes the door very specifically behind him. But uh, mm -hmm. I needed to, I needed to come and warn you. Oh. Yes. You need to stop. What you're doing, it has to stop. You're going to have to be a lot more specific. Well, I think you know how specific I'm being. And he uh, makes a no, joke. no, 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 no. I think he you makes it be a lot more specific because actually, here's a question, Wex. Yeah. Was he at that big meeting? No. He was not. None of them were other than firework. Uh, you should say, you're going to need to be a lot more specific because of conversations I had with your prior superior. Well, I'm, not I'm assuming Prophet was in, like, Exostar the entire time, is that correct? Um, actually, no. A lot of these guys are all new recruits or pulled from different places. Only Firework is a career person. The correct wording for the hero who, the hero who was previously in charge there? Yeah, the, 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 the former, like, um... Basically... Um, the insinuation of you're going to have to be more specific about what you're talking about because of conversations we've had with Stardust. Fine. I'm going to warn you specifically. You need to stop everything you're doing, all this, this your other life, shall we say, it needs to end. You, for one, have given zero reason for this. Well, okay. I was hoping you would take it on faith, but... Uh, <laughs> cute. This but, is uh, profit. If you continue, you will cause nothing but harm and destruction to all those around you, to your friends, to what you have for a family, though that's not much for that, and to your team. Into this city. You will bring the world down around with you. I've seen it. I can, I've watched it happen. And I'm here because in good faith as I wouldn't be able to live my moral life the way I like and the way I believe if I didn't come to warn you and give you a chance to stop. You need to quit. Be done. Hang up, retire. Because if you don't, 
I will, and the rest, and Exostar will be forced to stop you ourselves. I'm, okay. I, I feel like I have to roll insight for how truthful does he think he's being? He thinks he is 100% truthful. Every word. He's just like, there are two things I've done that have concerned me and I really want to know what you think the problem is, because if it's one of those two, I don't intend to do that again. I don't know what the problem is. I barely knew who you were before the last month. I don't know much about you, other than what I've seen. But I've seen what you will do. And I have faith that that will happen. And I believe I can't let that happen. So this is your warning. Change your fate, fate, change your destiny, stop now, or we will stop you. That's all the time I wanted to take up with you. I apologize, Charles, for interrupting you. Um, God be with you. And he uh, shambles to his feet and heads out, unless you stop him. Just... A question with this. Yes? You say there's going to be a big problem. For one, as I'm certain you're aware from the implications you, you're given, some things you just can't stop doing. That's an excuse of someone out of control who believes in themselves more than they do Something bigger than them. Oh, would you mind taking this conversation somewhere a bit more private? Well, no, it's fine. Do you have anything else? Do you have anything of meaning to say? Because I've said what I need to. Fine then. No, I do not. Thank you for the warning. I hope you heed it. And may God have mercy on your soul. And he leaves. All righty, then. <laughs> uh, what a yutz. Maybe I need to play shuffle around with who the uh, rivals are. <laughs> you might have to. Uh -huh. I mean, Firework and uh, Alex got their thing. They're not really rivals, though. Uh oh, I'm still oh, not uh -oh. sure who my rival is. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you're Plasmoid. Oh, that's right. yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I forgot about Plasmoid. He didn't show up, so I forgot about him. Well, he did, but not to you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else want a scene? I mean, outside of crashing Dan's scene, sure, I'll take one, but I don't know if anybody else is going, if whoever my opposite is can find me. Uh, okay, no, we, why don't we go back to the roller ring then? Great. Super. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's at this point that frickin' that, uh, that Serenity has lost all sense of subtlety and is now starting to play like Shake That Ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. So. Really, no. I have complications that say I can't do that. All right. Um, so, Izzy, as you were. Uh, skating around, you notice someone. Mm -hmm. There is a individual sitting in the corner. Uh, he looks... He's dressed in uh, fishnet leggings, has uh, black dyed and purple hair, half shaved on one side, is wearing some strange skull rings, and looks like most of his outfit is straight out of Hot Topic. He so is... Scary. Uh. <laughs> 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 he 
<laughs> he's a, he looks like he's not having any fun, and he's reading a book on a table, um, kind of half eating some pizza. He's fucking reading like something like edgy, like Nietzsche, isn't he? Oh, definitely. Oh my god. 100%. Yes. All these kids are such assholes. Oh my god. I don't think I have any re. Hold on a second. Let me check my complications list. He also has a uh, a My Little Pony sticker on his. Um, well, that'll get me over there. But the my but as you get close, you notice the My Little Pony is uh, been re stenciled to be a goth pony. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I guess I'll start the conversation as awkwardly as possible. Hey, nice sticker. Is that a custom art job you did there? Yeah. No, they sell them like this, don't you know? I didn't actually. Where can I get something like that? Oh, you I've can. Got, I've got. I've got a collection. I don't have that one. Yeah. No, you can. Uh, you have to go to the mall. Listen, here's where you get them. You have to go to the mall. And you can go to the store, uh, get over yourself, and purchase one there for the price of leave me alone. That's not very nice. Why would you say that? I was just trying to be friendly. Yeah, because I need friendliness in my life. <laughs> I don't actually know how to respond to this as a, you know, 10-year-old. I believe the answer could be, you're a butt face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that, yeah, everybody else is having fun. Why would you come to the roller rink if you just wanted to read a book? I unfortunately have to be here. Why do you have to be here? Are your parents here? No. But I was told to keep an eye on a friend, I guess. I don't really have friends, but I guess... Well, if she's not a friend, what is she then? I guess my co-worker... Oh, that's such a... Oh, I hate that term for What a prep term for it. So, well, your co-worker in the Get Over Yourself store? Oh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's where I work. That's me. Uh... At Poser Hut Jr. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually. Yeah. I look like on that. Look, kid, you are obviously very bubbly, and you haven't had the crushing weight of reality dropped on you yet. So let me let me help you with that. Uh, Santa's not real. Neither is the Easter Bunny. Your parents are the Tooth Fairy. Uh, My parents nope. are dead. Well, at least you've had that lesson uh, driven into you. Wow! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, also, wow. just so you know, Holy shit. nothing matters and we all die alone. There, is that enough life lesson for you yet? God, this edgy fucking All right, calm down, Sasuke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, He's out of the stupid edgy face. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, bad things happen to people, but you really should try to look on the bright side every so often. I do. I take great pleasure in knowing that I'll be dead long before the heat death of the universe. Well, that's something to look wow. forward to. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm going to go into a long-winded explanation of how Spore works, and, like, ultimately the heat set up of the universe will just cause the next big bang, and then life will start all over again. Wait, is that how Spore ends? I never beat Spore. Yeah, well, Spore doesn't have an ending. It's basically... It doesn't have an ending. It just keeps you going. You reach a big enough scale, the universe basically... It, it basically goes into another microchasm of itself. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The end so of the it, you basically start from microbiology all over again, if you choose to. But yeah. it it doesn't have an ending. It's a Will Wright game. Yeah. The, the ending is you just get bored and stop playing Spore. Yeah. Okay. Like everyone. I hit, I hit that with space. Yeah. 
It's like the last game that I actually bought a physical game of for PC. Anyways. Yeah, so Sturdy, Sturdy will say that. You know, just like the game Spore. I don't play that. Games are for, games like that are for babies. And so crap. you're probably you're more of a Dark Souls person. Ugh, so mainstream. Oh my god! <laughs> you're more of a Hollow Knight. You're, 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 you're more of a Hollow Knight person. They punch him in his stupid face. So you're more of a Hollow Knight person before it came out of beta. Ugh. Yeah. I played games for uh, for babies again. Oh man, what do goth kids actually like to play? Standing small animals. Goth kid, he's just a depressed, uh, holier than thou jackass. Yeah. 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 What, what what is that joke from from South Park? I'm afraid you have a medical condition where everything you see and hear sounds like shit. It's called yeah. being a cynical asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Again, you seem bright and sparkly and bubbly, and I guess there's something that you are like that still, and I know eventually that'll, you know, go away with time and, yeah, just eventually. But you aren't going to convince me of anything. I know the truth of things. I'm well read. <laughs> he says as he goes back to his Michi. Yeah. I feel like he shouldn't even be reading Nietzsche in that case. He should be reading like comic book for Nietzsche. Is, is there, yeah, he's a fucking is poser. Of like course, he's magazine or something in that book that he's hiding, or is it actually Nietzsche? That's what I'm saying. He's like he's reading actually Nietzsche. It should be oh, like uh, yeah, just... posers who don't actually know what Nietzsche meant read Nietzsche. Yeah, make, make, make a perception check. I mean, I'm going to fail. Make it anyways. Let's see what you get. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, you know, you're not talking to me because the book is probably, you know, just it, it, it's a it's a that new game. It's, a, you know, me. Chi is short for my Chia pets. <sighs> Again, why are you still in my orbit? I mean, you I'll leave. Dedicate, dedicate yourself to making him happy today. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I just don't want to, you know, leave you here so depressed. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure my world will brighten up immensely once you leave. Wow, you're a big stupid butthead. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> That he didn't have a comeback for. Uh, you, just, you just don't get it, obviously. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where's your coworker? Maybe they're more fun than you. Ugh. Out there somewhere. Guess she's on a date with her friend or something. I don't know. It's not my business. Why are you here, then, if it's not your business? Because I was my boss said I had to. God. <laughs> well, why is your boss putting into your public affairs or your private affairs? Uh, it's complicated. You wouldn't understand. What's not to understand? Are you like seven or something? Shit, I don't remember how old I am. I think I'm ten. I thought it was. Literally. A little while ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm am not seven. I'm ten and a half. Whoop de do. Crosses arms. Would you like a prize for existing? I didn't know they gave out prizes for that. Oh yeah, sure. They again sell them at the. Uh, you can well, what I call the store from earlier. Uh. Yeah, they sell them out. Get over yourself. 
I'm going to have to go check out that store. Yeah, you should do so. I think it'd be perfect for you. All right. Well, nice meeting you. What was your name? Oh, I didn't tell you it. But I guess you can call me... John Dan Cena. Damien. Oh, God. Of course it is. The most pretentious <laughs> No name. way that's his real fucking name. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's what he's telling you. I know. It's not his real fucking name. <laughs> this fucking edgelord shit. <laughs> that's the I'm idea. Just, I'm just going to keep right. calling him John Cena. If it's all the same to you. Don't no, I'm going to call you, gonna call you Lewis. Cena. You look like a Lewis. <laughs> that might actually be his real name now. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis parentheses Damien. Yeah. Aren't you going to ask me what my name is? No. <laughs> okay, bye, Damien the Butthead. I'm just going to skate backwards out of his field of vision. Ugh. I'm also debating fucking with him and going outside and summoning a get over yourself storefront. Do it. Oh, do it. Fucking do it. Do it. <laughs> All right. So, Dan, I think your skate's uh, rolling down. Well, hey, I had a lot of fun tonight. Sorry I got made things get kind of serious, you know? No, I, I had fun too. I just... Things have been heavy. Yeah. Look, they'll work out, right? Just gotta, just gotta hope. You do your best, and I know we can make it work out. Yeah, I mean, just look. No matter what happens, just know that Spectrum, that all of us are doing our best. I know you are, I mean, and. If there ever comes a time where you can't do your best where you are, just don't forget about us. Never. And um, as she's kind of looking around, she sees something, and you see her eyes go wide for a sec. She's like, uh, hey, I, I gotta go. Um, I had a really nice time, though. And she gives you a peck on the cheek, looks a little embarrassed, and then heads out, and she, she heads towards this, like, goth-looking kid who she seems kind of mad at, says something to, and he just kind of, like, without changing expression, just closes his book, and they both head out together. So by, by says something with my suite of ridiculously good spy stuff... Yeah. <laughs> um, something along the lines of, what the hell are you doing here? Hmm. And he just says, like... Was in the neighborhood, and she's like, "Bullshit! They're having you watch me now. I'm like, you have a problem? Take it up with the take it up with uh, the judge. Maybe I will. No, you won't." And she just looks very angry and walks away from him. And he just kind of closes up the book and heads out with her. Serenity is going to appear right next to you at that point. That guy was a butthead. Yeah, we should make him miserable. The Get Over Yourself store is opening wherever he's going to be heading soon. Without without looking at Serenity, I'm going to put my hand up for a high five. <laughs> without looking at you, she will return the high five. <laughs> okay. by, by the way, I have that guy. By the way, I have access to that guy's phone number and all of his social media shit. We'll be coming back to that later. Uh, his top thing is his MySpace page. Oh, of course it is. I, I was almost hoping you would say live journal, but that works too. Please tell me his only friend is Tom. It's yeah. his only friend Tom. Lex is his only friend Tom. No, he doesn't have any friends. Of course. Oh my god, even Tom. He rejected Tom. I mean, I don't know if MySpace still exists, so I'm like taking my best guess there. It, it does. It just is, you know, in the bowels of the internet where yeah, he exists. He still exists. Assuming that I, can, I, I, is there a way for me to find out that his real name is Lewis? Yes. <laughs> I might have to change his MySpace username. <laughs> just, just yeah. change his name to Effin Lewis. I, I feel like this 
All right, so let, we actually should start bringing the session to a close. Does anyone else have any like role play, role play stuff they want to do before to a final end event? I mean, Iris is definitely going to warn the team about the warning she was given. Okay, so do you, do you guys want to do like a quick like scene together, exchanging information? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that could have gone better. That kid sounds like an asshole. Yeah, I'm... I wouldn't. I wouldn't call him an asshole, but he definitely had a butthead. That's what grown-ups call assholes. It's a bad word, though. There are also better ways to describe him. He uh, he kind of felt like a Chad. But his, he said his I, name was Damien. It's not. It's Lewis. Hex, I feel like I can't believe that's the opposite of Chad. Yeah, we get the worry about the fact that when you bring up the fact that his name is Lewis, then he's going to say, yeah, my last name is Cypher. Cute. <sighs> Either way, as irritating as some of them may be, the actually much more important one is the direct threat I received from Prophet. Uh, you mean the fact that we are actually being squeezed out by... Oh, no, this is more than squeezed out. Why? What did they say? Um, at least for me in particular, that I need to give up being a hero in general for the safety of, the, quote, the world, and no completely nebulous at that, or he and the others are going to come after us. Are we really surprised? We knew this was going to happen at some point. Look who they chose to be the leader of that team. And I wasn't expecting it to be um, that explicit, direct, and soon. We haven't done anything. No, no, he's worried about what we will do, or what I will do in particular. But the future's not set in stone. Does he even know about the future? His name is Prophet, and he heavily implied that he does. <sighs> More likely, he got an incomplete view of it. Somehow, I doubt that his uh, his future set is as good as Graham Graham's. Oh, probably not. But he certainly believes it's true, as do presumably the rest of his teammates. Believers are the most dangerous kinds of idiots. I mean, they definitely I don't. Mean, they definitely I don't trust. Here. I mean, I don't know. Butthead Lewis didn't seem like he really believed in anything. Well, he believed in the cause enough to be watching firework. But why would they be stalking? Like, do they not trust her and they're just keeping her on? Or is it because they know who we are? If they do trust her, they don't trust her enough to be with a member to spend any length of time with a manner of spectrum in a civilian setting. Mm -hmm. Look, I've got, I've got them bugged as best I can for now. Um, but... Yeah, things are gonna. Oh, things are so, probably so, gonna escalate pretty quickly. Side note: Do uh, you want to know what his full live space page name is? Go for it. Please. Yeah, uh, Lord Damien Tenebris. Oh, um, that's what he calls himself. Ah, yeah. jeez. Uh, I mean, do you want do you want him or you want the TikTok millennial? I mean, look. <laughs> At some point, I'm gonna be changing his his username to my, some prick named Lewis, but we'll get there. Listen, I'm sure you can find I, I'm sure you can find his baby photos from his parents' posts online, and redirect it to his MySpace if you want to. But oh, we can worry about that later. Okay, so I mean, that's a, um, that's a as it happens, uh, uh, Nick, you got a yep. phone. Call. Okay. Is Which it, phone? The one for Iris. Which one of those? There's like the one for I, I'm assuming it's the superhero one. It's the one you sent to um to Penumbra. Mm -hmm. Um You get a message or you see so you get a call. Is this Iris? It is. Uh, who's calling? This is Penumbra. I think we should talk. 
And that's where we'll end yeah. session today. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I think that'll be session, because it's getting yeah. late. And I enjoyed that role-play session. And, like, I, I'm glad, because... I need to get you guys to dislike these characters. Yeah. There, so I mean, there's we, a much better way of going about it. Like, them doing a good job saving people is not going to get on our bad side. Them being assholes to us specifically is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, especially because, like, I, I believe Iris and I both have complications that are along the lines of we want good to be done, so as long as you're doing good, whatever. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I mean, I, my complications have changed, obviously, but I think the line that sticks out with me, which makes this, like, he's, this guy's irredeemable, is your parents are tooth fairy. My parents are dead. Well, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. You don't know his dark, edgy soul, man. Oh, please. I don't need to know his dark, edgy soul to recognize <laughs> he has a pup for a head. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. No, there's only one of them that I don't have their personality pegged for yet, and I gotta like figure out what I want to do with that one. Is it plasmoid? Also, it, also, is, it is plasmoid. Yes. Yeah, I figured. But, like, what? Yeah. What do you do with the big guy? You know. Mm. Uh, Wex, make him grin from Mighty Ducks. Okay, you are way too on this Mighty Ducks kick. Yeah. Have to say it. <laughs> Uh, no, nobody, nobody remembers the Mighty Ducks. I remember it. it. It is not good enough to remember. Yeah, exactly. I have, I have been locked in a, in a hotel room for two weeks with nothing better to do. There's so I'm many. Sorry. Go, go watch the boys. I don't have it. I do not have access to that. I have access to Netflix and Disney Plus, and that is it. God, I don't. Did you watch Gargoyles yet? Again. Gargoyles is great. Again, no. Okay. Like, I've got like six episodes left. I gotta finish the Mighty Ducks at this point, so I never have to touch it again. Sure. I mean, like, dude, I'd be watching like I don't know, not the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Almost anything else. I mean, I I watched all of Carbon San Diego. Well, you want to actually torture yourself? Go watch Quack Pack. Oh God. No, no, that's where I draw the line. I know what that's about. I draw. Well, they that have movie. it all on. I think it's all on Disney Plus too. Is I was it? thinking. Of, I was thinking of rewatching the Gummy Bears. Sure. Well, I also told you to go watch Big Hero Six. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I did. I, I did. Oh okay. I watched the first ten episodes, I think, and then Carmen San Diego came out, and then I saw the Mighty Ducks. I'm like, I'll try two episodes. And Tim Curry is. Who abandoned Big Hero Six for the fucking Mighty Ducks? <laughs> Big Hero 6 does not have Tim Curry or freaking Frollo. I'm no, sorry. it's fucking Baymax! <sighs> I'm sorry, Izzy. You have lost any respect we had for you. Yeah. yeah. You, you didn't have any to, for me to begin with. Oh, there has to be more so, life choice, Izzy. There has to be something better for you. Why do you, like, uh, I assume you've seen The Mandalorian. I feel like yes. that's good. I don't know. Watch some Marvel cartoons. I've seen them all. All of them? Literally watch random YouTube videos. Have you seen Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes? That was my favorite, like, Avengers show. I've watched that one twice. I don't know. Uh, again, again, my pickings are slim right now. Also, I can kind of put an episode on when I'm cooking or working out and just, like, not watch it. Because I know the answer is going to be water or freeze pucks. I mean, look, you want to torture yourself, go watch Inhumans. That's a pile of shit. It really, really is a pile of shit, by the way. Don't watch it. If I'm going to watch a pile of shit, it's going to be from the 90s, so I at least have the nostalgia goggles, even if I didn't see it directly. I know, I've got to find something here that I can justify you watching yeah. over Mighty Ducks. Izzy, have you watched Amphibia? I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a new Disney. Have you watched Gravity Falls? 